You're watching Weather AM. Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 23rd. I'm meteorologist Chris Murphy. Biggest story in the country continues to be the relentless heat and along with that storms and the fires and the smoke. Here's Ashcroft, British Columbia. That Shetland Creek wildfire is now about 200 square kilometers um, in size. 354 fires are burning in BC, 170 in Alberta, another 143 in the Northwest Territories. And that is really contributing to the poor air quality because of the smoke. This is just a snapshot from this morning and you see the reds here and the oranges, that's poor air. Well, what exactly do we mean when we're talking about air quality? Well, to explain the index, here's Kim McDonald. Summer's here, and you may notice the Air Quality Health Index values are rising on your Weather Network app. But what do these ratings mean? Let's dive in. Good air quality means clear conditions, while poor air is filled with pollutants, chemicals, or particles from wildfires. AQHI considers health effects and environmental concerns. It measures air quality's impact on health using a 1 to 10 scale, with 10 and up representing the highest risk. For outdoor activities, a rating of 1 to 3 is ideal, while 4 to 6 may cause discomfort for those with respiratory conditions or allergies. When the rating is 7 to 10 plus, children and the elderly are encouraged to limit outdoor time. You can check the Weather Network's city pages for real-time AQHI ratings. Prolonged exposure to poor air quality can lead to heart disease, lung cancer, and conditions like emphysema. According to McGill University, air pollution causes an estimated 4.2 million premature deaths globally each year. In 2021, Health Canada estimated that air pollution contributes to 15,300 premature deaths each year in Canada. Well, one thing you can do to help protect yourself is close those windows and keep the poor air outside and not in your house as well. All right, well, we're looking here at a smoke forecast. No surprise there where the many fires are burning. That's where it's very concentrated. Going to see some gradual improvement across eastern BC, at least away from the fire zones because of a westerly wind will push that further east. Uh, just going to show you here tomorrow evening, expecting some pretty uh, hazy skies in southern Ontario once again because of smoke. I don't expect terrible air quality out of this and even Quebec and into the Maritimes may see a little bit of that more of that haze but what we need to dissipate the smoke, improve the air quality, well, number one, we need rain. And the rain is falling in the north, but it is accompanied by thunderstorms. So lightning and wind is counteracting the benefits of the rain. But still, 50 to 100 millimeters will take it. Note, very, very little rain in the south. Cooler air, that will help because, of course, the heat has been contributing to drying out the forest floors. Well, we get some cooler temperatures beginning today in the interior of BC, ramping up tomorrow the next day and even the prairies which is going to get very hot uh, that you will too also see a bit of a cool down coming while the east well you'll feel your humid x values rising uh, towards the end of the weekend and next week so for tomorrow or for thursday noticeably cooler in bc and into alberta and saskatchewan you'll start to cool down by friday thunderstorm risk well that is your double-edged sword northern areas as opposed to the south and across central and eastern canada today temperatures near seasonal with modest humidity